the animals that inhabited this area of Beringia would have been dramatically different. We're talking about megafauna, giant mammoths, mastodons, giant short-faced bears, immense ground sloths, beavers the size of me, just to name a few. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the scimitar cat. And one of the cool features about their teeth yeah. is that they're, they're serrated like a steak knife. Yeah. So that would have been amazing for tearing the flesh off a woolly mammoth. Yeah, a lot easier. Yeah, yeah they're really, re really formidable. You know, we often find mammoth bones and bison bones and horse bones that have been chewed up. Like you can oh, see, really? the, see the, the fang marks on them. And yeah, yeah, I love finding bones that show this evidence of this like, savage <laughs> world of yeah. the Ice Age past. It's like he got eaten! Yes! yes. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. yeah. This is uh, the giant short-faced bear. So this is the biggest land carnivore uh, mammal that ever lived. Wow. This yeah. is about one and a half times the size of a grizzly. Wow. The, the teeth along the side of its jaw are really well adapted for crushing bones. So they would be able to get a carcass and eat the marrow and eat the bones. They're oh, wow. just really powerful jaw muscles. And the reason why it's called a short-faced bear is that you can see compared to, say, a grizzly bear, a grizzly bear has a quite a long snout in a black yeah. bear. This has a very short snout, and the nasal opening is huge. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that these are probably really very useful for smelling carcasses on the landscape. So oh, okay. if they smelt an animal that had died, it would have uh, been able to smell it for many, many miles and then go track down the animal and then yeah. eat the carcass. Oh, so it can okay. move all across the landscape and find uh, carcasses, maybe an animal that a wolf killed, yeah. and then fight off the wolf and steal the carcass. Yeah. So, this what? is a grizzly? So yeah, that's an adult grizzly. You can show the comparison Oh there. my god. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> this is a much bigger animal than a grizzly bear. What's this over yeah. here? <laughs> Well, it's a Ground very, sloth. very weird, strange animal. Ground sloths in the Arctic, it seems very, very strange. But... Yeah, well, I don't imagine something this big, big could hang on trees. No, no. Yeah, if you know what sloths look like, you know, yeah. in the Amazon, these kind of slow awkward. moving, weird, awkward. Um, they're, they're basically related to those, but during the Ice Age, they got really, really big, yeah. and they expanded <laughs> all across the plains. So. There's fossil sites in all across the Great Plains that have really? bones of, of sloths like this, and they, they migrated to the north uh, during one of these little warm times of the Ice Age. And they're vegetarians? Absolutely vegetarian, which is really so, strange. Yeah, so why the huge, massive claws? I mean, these claws are this. bigger than the bear. Yeah, they're huge claws, so it had to defend itself because it was completely herbivorous. Maybe yeah, it wasn't quite as slow as the sloths we have now. <laughs> Probably not, but still pretty awkward looking. Whenever we find a bone that is just so weird looking, mm -hmm. we don't know what it is, our first thought is sloth. We always yeah. think, yeah, it's probably a ground sloth. Let's go look at the skeleton at the bridge. Yeah, and then you compare match it. Them. Yeah. 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 It's such a strange thought that all of these super large animals ha have now, like quite a few of them, have a mini. Yeah, I think to me, it, like thinking about the Ice Age is that we have yeah, all these strange, fantastic animals, yet this kind of close living relatives. So you get some idea of what they looked like and how they might have lived. And it makes it quite, uh, and it also makes it very relevant to try to understand today's animals. Because, yeah. you know, these are its ancestors or its close relatives. It would have been a dramatically different place than it is today. 